congratulations to the Aggies. Uh, they thoroughly uh, beat us on the boards. Uh, they uh, were able to get themselves to the line 47 times, um, which is a real tribute to uh, their offense. Um, they uh, had a real ability to take it by us. I thought the game was established in the first three minutes. We had seven fouls in the first three minutes of the game, which put them in one and one. And they were able to go utilize that off the, they just drove us, just took a bias, bias, bias. I think we were worried about fouling. Uh, we, we continued to foul. Uh, but uh, they just did a great job. I thought their guards were good in transition. I thought their guards uh, took a bias. Um, their big guys whipped us on the glass. And uh, this is a good Aggie team. We knew it coming over here, and uh, we just didn't have any answers for them. Well, you know, you, what you take away from it is that you're pitiful defensively. You're absolutely pitiful. It's one thing guarding guys that uh, uh, you're more athletic than. It's another thing that you don't have the principles to stay between your guy and the basket. I've never had a team that left a basket that exposed all night long. And, uh, and that, that, that's what I take from it. You know, it's a shame that we got to play in, in 24 hours. I think it's, it's, it's really a shame. We, we, should need, we need about six weeks to go practice. Um, I, think we, I, we, I think we just thought we were going to go out and score them, go get in a horse game and go, go out and score them, and, and it was going to be fun, you know. Uh, we uh, shot 46% from the floor. That's, you know, you'd like to think maybe you can go win a ball game if you've got some kind of identity. But the other thing I learned from it, and I uh, asked our team about this a week ago, I said, what, what would your identity be? You know, all really good teams have an identity. We have no identity. We have, we have no identity, none whatsoever. Um, we don't defend. You know, I, I, I thought we, we played without poise on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, I, I thought that, um, you know, offensively, um, you know, when we needed to settle down and go get a basket, we'd dribble it in there and just hand it to them. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you what our identity is right now. Um, and you know what? You can't. You can say that you're young. We're not young anymore. You know these guys sitting next to me have played for three years and two years. Uh, they've been, they've been here for a while. So uh, we should uh, we, we should have been able to defend better than we did. And, and maybe you know they're just that much better than us. Maybe they, you know that, that just may be the case. That's what I learned. Any any questions for these young men? There you go, Julian. What was it like playing in that atmosphere, bro? Go ahead. I mean, um, Speak up and look at I mean, um, it, it, it was nothing new. You know, it was the same as last year, but I'm pretty disappointed. You know, that Lima guy scored 26 points. You know, uh, I don't think I ever played defense this bad in my life. And, um, I know I'm going to pick it up, but, you know, I'm, I'm just pretty ashamed of myself tonight. Defensive struggles kind of, uh, kind of affect your offense in the second half? Um, no, I think we, we shot the ball pretty well in the second half. You know, we scored 73 points. You know, they scored 86. So, you know, that tells you there that we've got to play, you know, better defense, you know, and just keep them off the line. Like Coach said, they shot 47 shots. I mean, 47 free throws, and they had rebounded us by, like, 16. So that's what we got to, you know, correct right there. Coach, last year the NCAA average uh, for games was about 35 fouls a game. You got whistled for 30 tonight. So, I mean, with the new rules in play, I mean, what – I'm sorry, you said the, the average for for, a game? for both teams? For both teams. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's a stat that I read. Could, yeah. Could be off, yeah. But yeah. It was about 35 a game, and, and we got whistled for 30 tonight. So 30, yeah. How do you adjust as far as, you know, obviously we're an aggressive defensive team. How do you adjust going forward? Well, you know, we, we actually talk hands off and, uh, and work on that uh, daily. Um, I'll say this. Uh, every rule that's been put in place uh, since I've been in officiating, I've been, been in coaching, has been designed to make the job easier for the officials, okay? Uh, my wife can call a game where you just put a finger on a guy and it's a foul. Makes a bad official a good official if you can just say foul, touch, foul, touch. I don't believe the people, 10,000 people that bought tickets tonight came to watch 
players shoot free throws. I think if there was any NBA scouts in there looking at Sim Bular, they didn't come to watch both teams shoot free throws. Okay? Uh, I think what it do, is going to do is going to force everybody to play zone defense. Now, if that's what the higher-ups and officiating want, everybody go play zone defense, then we can go play zone defense. But I don't think fans buy tickets to watch players not play hard and go guard people man-to-man. -man. Now, I think we're all into advantage-disadvantage. Advantage-disadvantage. Uh, that, that's a great – you know, we used to talk about Bobby Dibler and Moose Steubing and some of the great officials that worked. And there's great preventive officiating. Get your hands off, clean it up, let's go play. You know, because they want to see flow. They want to see flow. Guys go up and down. And, uh, and I want to make this perfectly clear, perfectly clear. The officiating had nothing to do with us getting whacked, okay? Nothing to do with that, all right? We were pathetic, all right? But seven fouls in the first three minutes of a game, is that really what you want? To have the teams in one and one with 17 minutes to go and live at the foul line. And it's, look, I'm not talking about just our team. I'm not talking about just our team. There were 81 free throw shots, okay? I'm talking about the other team as well. Some of them that they called on them, I'm sitting there saying, you got to be kidding me. It wasn't a foul. I'm talking about fouls against the Aggies. But I think that they better really, really look at this in terms because we're a, we're, a, we're a product right now. Yeah, I, I know they, they talk about going into this because they think that it's going to increase scoring. Yeah, it will. It will, but I don't think that's what people want to watch. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But we're going to have to go work on a zone defense, you know, if, that, if that's what they want. And I think we are teams that played man-to-man -man as good as anybody in the country for a long time. But that's a, that's a joke. You can't, you can't play it. You can't play it. Yeah, that's, and, and look, let's make sure when we write this, okay, that the Aggies whipped our butts, okay, in every phase of the game. On the glass, 37-23, okay? They drove it by us all night long. We couldn't stay between uh, his guy and the basket all night long, all right? Mullins did a great job, okay? They killed us on the boards. Let's make sure that everybody understands the Aggies whipped us. I was asked a question about the state of officiating in our country right now, all right? And I merely answered that question, all right? Okay. That that was that was saying okay guys y'all don't want us to play man to man we'll go play zone we'll go play zone because you're not supposed to foul as much in a zone hell we fouled the zone. We scored 73 points. The damn offense didn't hit it. The freaking 86 whipped our ass. Okay.